I'm joined by Sassy Freshly Ground member, Kyla. How are you doing? Good, and you? I'm good, thanks. Good. So just take me through how you emerged in the music industry. Wow. Um, I've been playing the violin since I was very young, since I was about five, six, so that's 26 years. Um, it's something that I always did and I went to the National School of the Arts, I studied music and when I left school, I, with a f along with a friend of mine from high school, started working for a dance company in Joburg called the Vuyani Dance Theatre. The director is a man called Gregory Matkoma um, and we used to write music for his dance pieces and that's kind of the first professional music gig that I had and then at the same time I joined a band called Tumi and the Volume, a hip hop yeah. band in Joburg. And I played with them for about a year and a half. And in that process, I met the members of Freshly Ground here in Cape Town, and I then went on to join them. Okay, then that's pretty that's the cool. short, the <laughs> condensed version. And how would you describe the band? I I would say Freshly Ground is is something of a microcosm of. South Africa, in a way. We are seven people all from different places, from different backgrounds, with different interests, and somehow we manage to make it work. <laughs> the way you say different interests, it's like uh, sometimes like brother and sister fight. Yeah, we don't. <laughs> I mean, we do. Sometimes we disagree, and it is like a big family, and a lot of the time it is about compromise, and having been together for 12 years, it's also about it's a good lesson in reaching understanding with people who are not necessarily the same as you and we don't all think the same all of the time. So there's some patience involved too on all sides. Wow, okay, just to get to know you better, how do you spend a good time out? Wow, I'm not much of a party animal actually. A good time for me is probably like at home with a good book or in front of a good movie. What are you, what are you currently reading? Um, I'm reading a book by Jonathan Lethem called Dissident Garden. It's about New York in the 50s. And what are you listening to at the moment? At the moment, mm, a variety of stuff. I'm listening to an artist called Valerie June. Um, I'm listening to the new Daft Punk record like everybody else. <laughs> okay. And what's the one thing you think people don't know about you? I have a very large scar. I was burnt as a child um, with matches, and I have a scar. Most people probably don't know that about me. Where is the scar? It's on my leg and across my stomach. How big is it? It's big. And who burnt you? I burnt myself. How old were you? I was you? playing with matches. I was four. So it's still there. It's like a permanent mm. scar. A permanent reminder not to play with fire. <laughs> So like, how, how, how have you dealt with that? Like, you know, most women are very insecure about the way they look and their bodies. So how do you deal with that? Um, well, as a child and as a teenager, it was difficult. Um, also, things like going to the beach are sometimes a bit uncomfortable because everybody looks. You know, that's just kind of the nature in, of people. In Hawaii, Cape Town. And, you know, <laughs> and exactly, there's lots of beach going. Um, but I guess that Part of being a performer and being on stage has helped with that, of overcoming certain insecurity and feeling like you can step out of yourself a bit and play a role. It's kind of part of me, you know? So you wouldn't take part in a naked photo shoot? I actually have taken part in a naked photo shoot. Interesting. Which was quite liberating. Which one? For um, Glamour magazine. Oh, wow. And that went well, obviously. It went very well. Oh, that's pretty I cool. was surprised actually <laughs> that it went so well.